In my late wife's case, speaking up or the inability to speak up and raise a concern was a major factor in her subsequent death. So what can we do to encourage speaking up in the NHS? Well, I can only really use my own personal example here of what I do in my day-to-day -day work as an airline pilot. There are three things. The first thing is that the organisation itself sets a very clear expectation that people will speak up and it will be responded to positively. And that's reinforced again and again through the training we experience and on the observations of how we behave day to day. Secondly, when I meet a crew for the first time, and there's a very high probability that I won't know many of them, I'm very clear when I brief at the very end of my briefing that, that I really encourage people to speak up. If there's anything they're not sure about, please let us know and we can look after you. And of course, it's worth saying at this point that this is all done on first name terms. And the final thing is during the day, if somebody raises a concern with me, even if it's something quite minor, that I listen to it carefully, that I focus on what's right, not who's right, and that whatever the outcome, I thank them for that in some way, whether that moment or later on, because that, that creates dividends, not just for the here and now, but it creates dividends in the future by reinforcing positive behaviors.